Hi guys, it's Stephanie. Today I'm really excited. I found something super exciting and new to me. I don't know how new it is. But anyway, it is a self-care uh, monthly subscription box and it is called Lunarly. And I'm just going to read really quickly the description from my phone because I don't want to get anything wrong. Um, it is a nature-inspired monthly self-care subscription powered by the new moon, which is super excited. I'm a moon person. Like, I'm so into the moon. Okay, it says, before every new moon, you'll receive your Lunarly. Inside, you'll find everything you need to set your intentions and grow, like specially curated plants, wellness products, tools for mindfulness, and more. And then, so since this is my first box, it comes with a little journal for writing intentions and things like that. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear Anubis. He's in his crate, and he doesn't want to be. So, um, anyway, so I had to bust this baby out before I could get started because it was in the box, and opening that on camera would have been really hard to do. But, um, also, as you can see, I said I'm not finished, but it's just in a little pot, and it's this cute, this nice plant, and I hope that I can keep it alive. Now, this is something that I was a little worried about when I ordered because um, I know thoughts are things. I don't want to put it out there. But be quiet, everybody. Hey, the dogs are gone crazy. Okay, sorry about that. Um, anyway, I don't want to put it out there in the universe, but it is the truth. I just, I kill plants. I try so hard. I love them. I talk to them. I think I overwater them. Um, so I'm going to try really hard to keep this one going. Um, but let's see what else is in this box. See, it came in this box and it was like really taped in there and boxed in and there was no way I was getting it out um, on camera. So first thing on top, oh, this must be like the the one you get when you're a new subscriber. It looks like a little journal in here. Let's see what's in here. And then I, I think this was so cool. I saw this on the, um, on the website. You, um, this is like a little plant steak thing and you can write your intentions on it and stick it in your plant. So it's kind of like, one of those things that's so naturally. It's like your intentions are growing with your plant. I really kind of love it. Um, and then this gives you a little bit about how to set an intention. So it gives you um, instructions on exactly how to do that. And then there are stickers in here, which is really cool. Um, oh, cute. So these are like little stickers that you can use to decorate your um, journal. That is so cool, I'm really excited. And then this um, is the journal. And it's just blank pages, so you can put your stickers on, you can um, use different colored pens and decorate it however you want. I'm super excited. So that is that. Now, there's another box in here. <laughs> okay, so this is the other stuff that's in here for the month. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay. Sturgeon moon. Okay, so that it must be the moon. Oh, this whatever's in here it smells so good. Let's get in. Hang on. Okay. Getting too excited. Sturgeon Moon, bask in a myriad of calmness. I need to calm down. August Sturgeon Moon. This pilier was hand, oh, okay. This is called a pilier. Pilia, maybe? Was hand potted with intention by the good souls at Bloomscape to reflect that placid prosperity. Yes, I could use that. Okay, and then on here, it tells you the light requirements and soil requirements and things like that for your plants, optimum temperature, 
uh, moderately toxic, causing mouth irritation and stomach indigestion to humans and pets. So I'm going to have to keep this out of the way of mostly my cats. They love chewing on plants. So um, gotta keep that one away. So other names for this um, is Chinese monkey plant and pancake plant. Which is kind of, I don't get the monkey part, but um, I do get the pancake part because it's like super flat, like a pancake, the leaves. Very cool. Okay, now um, this is going to tell you what is inside of here. But let's get, let's open the box and then we can read about it. Okay. Oh, I knew that. I smelled the grass. Okay. And then there's a beautiful card in here. It's almost like an oracle card, if you know what those are. Okay, Sturgeon Moon, August 11th, 2018. You know, I'm not going to pronounce this correctly. The Shaktikok tribe named August Moon for the abundance of sturgeon. Massive monoliths, their presence brought a plethora of plentiness. Celebrate the copious grace that surrounds you. And then it has an intention to inspire. Passion is a spark, the world is my candle, my heart is the flame, and I intend to set the universe ablaze. That is so awesome. Okay, now. There is spearmint lemongrass, uh, handcrafted bar soap from Pacha Soap Company. This smells absolutely amazing. I could smell it before I opened the box. Oh, it smells, I cannot wait to use it. It smells so good. Really pretty bar. Mmm. It's very minty smelling. I bet you it's be like kind of invigorating. Refreshing scent, pure essential oils, handcrafted, perfect for shower, kitchen, or bathroom. So that, um, that's really neat. Okay, then in here is, what is that? Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but you know those plants that are like trees that have those little, I'm going to get as close as I can. Focus, focus. Can you see all of the, end of, there we go, all of the individual pieces in there. That is so cool. Definitely do not untie this because it will just go everywhere. So this is a cedar smudge. So you set one end of your cedar smudge stick on fire, blow out the flame, and then you let the smoke billow, um, cleanse and renew the air around you. Um, I usually use sage for this. Um, I've never tried this one before, so I'm really kind of excited about that. And um, I just go all throughout the house and have a little um, abalone shell that I use to make sure that um, we don't get any uh, so that we don't catch any carpets on fire. We don't need that. Um, let's see. I know that this is going to be a crystal. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a rough one. This is an amethyst. Oh, it's so pretty. Amethyst is my favorite stone. Um, it always has been. And, um... So it says, it's long been loved by mystics and royalty alike. Luxurious in its deep purple appearance, the stone is said to promote peace, calm, and balance. And use it to jazz up a shelf or as a worry stone to keep that sturgeon moon energy closed. The possibilities are endless. So that is really cool. I'm so excited. And then, okay, the last item in here. is a little saucer. Does it say what this one is for? 
Okay. There's a saucer in here. Now, most likely it goes with this. Or, nah, the soap doesn't fit. Oh, you guys, look. I didn't notice this before, but there's actually lemongrass pieces in the soap. My camera is not loving this. Anyway, there really is, there we go, oh, yay, there's lemongrass pieces in the soap, guys. So you can use this to display some stones, because I do have several other little um, gems and stones and stuff, and so I think that would be really pretty just to set out and um, display your stones and crystals. I think the kids are um, fighting. Okay, anyway, wish me luck with the plants. Uh, I'll have to keep you updated on whether or not we're thriving. And um, that is it for this um, Lunarly box. If you've tried this before, um, leave me a comment down below and um, let me know what you think of it because I'm really excited and I'm, I'm loving the idea of it. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching and make sure that you come and find me at all of my social medias I have listed in the description box. Uh, thank you again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.